Dubrovnik, Pearl of the Adriatic, the scene immortalized on countless postcards. The ancient Croatian city offers a glimpse into a past that's made it one of the cultural centers of the Mediterranean region. Today, tourists are back, exploring the ramparts that saw off a major earthquake. But it was only 10 years ago the city faced its greatest threat. In October 1991, the Serb guns started to rain down shells on Dubrovnik. The city had got through the Second World War virtually unscathed. Now, Serb troops arrived in force. For six months, the mainly Croat population was under siege. Destruction poured down from the surrounding hills. In all, 287 civilians were killed. These gunshots heralded the death of Pavel Urban. He was just 24 years old a talented art photographer before the war. For two months, he turned his lens to the daily horror. These are the last images he took before he died. I was first surprised by Paovom Hrabrost. That's the first I was very surprised by the bravery of Pavel. I was very scared all of the time. I can say today that I was threatening him, that if he continued doing what he was doing, I would break his legs. Everything that we saw here in Dubrovnik during that period, he filmed. He was everywhere. Nobody knows how. He's on his bicycle or running, especially when the shells were falling. Frano Martinovic took these pictures. He wasn't a cameraman by profession. He was a sailor. He was just 27 years old. Frano died as he took these pictures. His camera kept running, then cut out. Frano shared the same name with his father. He was with him when he died. Frano Sr. survived his serious injuries. Today, he still can't make sense of what happened. Many things are wrong. But at the end of the day, I don't think there was a need to fight a war. That's my personal opinion. Especially here in Dubrovnik. Someone made a horrible mistake. Time will tell. Planned or unplanned, it was a horrible tragedy. It's a decade since the siege, and to all intents and purposes, much of Dubrovnik looks like it never happened. Many of the physical scars of the assault have been healed. The ancient architecture has been lovingly restored. A new Croatia has sprung from the war with Serbia. The city walls were built to withstand marauding Turks and the Venetian Empire, which coveted Dubrovnik for decades. The city managed rare independence through the turmoil of the Middle Ages. It was a pivotal staging point for the Crusaders. Dubrovnik's strategic importance as a port meant it finally fell to the Venetians. In the 16th century, it became a republic, and the city embarked on its golden age, boasting a fleet of some 200 vessels. Tourists avidly take in the city's history. In 1979, UNESCO, the United Nations Cultural Organization, recognized Dubrovnik as a world cultural asset. But in 1991, culture counted for nothing. And history had become a legacy of hatred between Serb and Croat. The cosmopolitan city, built up over centuries, was damaged beyond recognition. It's estimated 80% of the ancient buildings suffered. For more than six months, Dubrovnik was virtually defenseless. The people had no regular supply of food and water, and the world looked on aghast. The internationally famous Dubrovnik Festival was cancelled only once during the war. 
In 1994, it pulled out all the stops to celebrate liberation. Most are now happily oblivious of the siege, but for composer Djelo Jusic, the memories are vivid and ties to the city blood thick. I was born in this place. Dubrovnik is my wife and my lover, and I was defending this place with the whole of my heart. All of my music was written here. I don't understand even today why people have tried to destroy this ancient culture. Why? But today all of these people are returning to enjoy this beauty. And it's not just a source of pleasure to the people of Dubrovnik, it's their livelihood. So far, 55% of the city's hotels have been renovated. A big push is being made to sell it as a center to explore the beautiful Dalmatian coast. But the Croatians are looking to expand beyond the cafe society that suits the city so well. We have uh, still about 45% of the hotel capacity which hasn't been renovated and is not still in function. We also need to invest into the golf courses, some conference halls, some wellness centers, to be able to have all year round season. Basking in the last sunshine of the summer, boats from all around the world at their moorings. It's hard to believe that only 10 years ago, heavy artillery pounded this port. Dubrovnik's immense battlements have seen off earthquake and war over the centuries. It has absorbed much and survived. For some, its resurgence is an inspirational symbol as the world again goes through traumatic times. <laughs> 